Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will make this beautiful fingerless gloves. Uh, we we will learn this puff stitch also, and we will make this beautiful, easy, but so beautiful gloves. I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you want to make uh, from me uh, like these tutorials, please leave me comments. Uh, these gloves have a one perfect uh, point. It's that uh, it's not have must be uh, right or left. All sides as the same, so you can use. I didn't hide the tails. Sorry. You can use all the uh, gloves, all hands. No different, both of them. Uh, I give all the details in the video. I hope you like it. It's so easy and fast crocheting. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please leave me comments and sure don't forget subscribe to my channel. If you're ready, let's start to crochet our beautiful, easy and fast gloves, fingerless gloves. See you. I will use in this uh, gloves uh, that yarn. It's named Nadine. Um, it's recommend as 3.5 or 150 grams also sure I don't use all of them not any uh, this is a hundred percent of acrylic uh, 150 grams uh, 480 meters okay we will start with the ripped part of our glove I will use ripped part uh, 4 mm hook and the pattern will use 5 mm hook ok I take my 4 mm and make a slip knot and chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 chain one more then turn back and skip one and start the second one and make single crochet one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one ten. We have ten single crochet. Chain one and turn. Skip that one and insert your hook. This is front loop, this is back loop. Insert your hook from the back loop. Grab the yarn and make a single crochet. Insert the back loop, single crochet. Back, only back loop, single crochet. For five, six, seven, eight nine and ten is normal single crochet first and the last stitch is normal between uh, eight stitch from the back loop chain one and turn skip first one and insert the second one back loop make again single crochet four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is you remember normal. We will repeat this pattern from the back loops 
uh, until turn our wrist centimeter. Okay, I will crochet that and turn to and tell uh, about the measurements. I finished that rib part and now we will join two sides together. Put them like that. And insert my hook this side and make a slip stitch. Now turn it so I can easily join two sides together. Now insert here and insert the that side only this loop. Take a yarn and make make a slip stitch. Insert, insert only one loop and make a slip stitch. Insert here and insert one loop, slip stitch, that stitch and that loop and the corner and the last stitch and make a slip stitch. You can see that. Take this yarn in it. Now change my hook. Uh, this is four millimeter. I will take five millimeter hook. Okay. Now we will make two uh, row single crochet. Chain one. Uh, you can see that here one is front, one is back. We will make one single crochet this front side. One single crochet that back side. One is here, one is here. I have 32 single crochet because I crocheted 32 rows on this wrist part. Okay, you can uh, increase that or you can decrease that. It's your uh, wrist size. It's about that uh, which size of the which size you want to make. Okay, it's not important how to make. Now slip stitch to the first single crochet chain one and not count and make every stitch a single crochet again this row i came to the uh, end of the row and make slip stitch to the first stitch chain one and not count now this row we will make uh, this loops side how can it looks you will make a back post single crochet like that uh, insert your hook from back to front then back grab the yarn and make a single crochet insert like that grab the yarn and make a single crochet you will make back post double crochet in every stitch see you at the end of the row I made the end of the row make the last single crochet and insert it to the first single crochet but you look that uh, we make this single crochets but we will insert that single crochet okay we will keep making uh, on this single crochets 
so we make a new single crochets on them so uh, this uh, loops looking like that okay chain one and not count and make slip stitch here that stitch single crochet two more rows okay I finish these two rows and turn to you look at that these loops is looking like that I finish two rows single crochet then make a slip stitch to the first stitch now we will make this pattern okay chain three and I will count that as a double crochet yarn over and insert the next stitch grab the yarn pull through two pull through two this is my second double crochet yarn over and skip two stitch insert the third one grab the yarn and pull it yarn over grab the yarn pull it yarn over grab the yarn and pull it yarn over and the last grab the yarn and pull it uh, we have two four six eight nine loops on my hook this is the puff stitch okay take a yarn and pull through all together chain one and lock this puff chain one two yarn over and insert the same stitch and make one puff more one two three and four pull through all together and chain one this is the first yarn over and skip two stitch and insert the third one one two three and four pull through together chain one for luck chain one more yarn over insert the same stitch one two three and four pull through all of them and chain one yarn over and skip two one more one two three four pull through all together chain one and one chain more yarn over insert the same stitch and make one puff two in the same stitch three and four and pull through all of them and locked with chain one and the last puff yarn over and skip two insert the third one one two three four pull through one and two chains one two three and four and pull through all together and chain one one chain is for the lock this puff and one chain this space now we have four puff groups yarn over and skip two stitch insert the third one and look here make two double crochet grab the yarn pull through two pull through two yarn over insert the next one one and two yarn over and make make again this uh, four puff groups here skip two insert the third one and start to make puffs one two three and four pull through together one chain for luck one chain for space yarn over insert the same one two three four pull through all together and chain one I want to uh, remember one point uh, if you 
use different yarn. Uh, you can make I make puffs uh, with four times pull through. Uh, you can make three times or five times. It's only it's about only for your si yarn and hook size. And uh, one point more, I will make one, two, three, four, five, and six rows for the uh, for come to the finger point. Uh, your yarn more thicker than mine so you will make maybe five rows it, it's about your uh, yarn and hook size okay don't forget that now keep going again to skip and make third one two three four pull through one two insert the same one two three four pull through and one yarn over skip two insert the third one two three four pull through together one two yarn over insert the same one two three and four and pull through all together and chain one the last puff group yarn over and skip two insert the third one one two three four pull through together one and chain two yarn over insert the same stitch one two three and four and four pull through together and chain one yarn over and skip two and make one more double crochet here and insert your hook from the this is the chain three my first uh, double crochet and insert the third chain and grab the yarn and make a slip stitch chain three and this is my first double crochet yarn over and make one more double crochet in the double crochet of previous row yarn over skip here and insert the chain one space and make puff group again one two three four pull through together one two insert the same one two three and four pull through together and chain one now you can keep making like that you will make puff groups in this chain one space here you will make two double crochet and make the puff groups again the chain one space and make one double crochet and make a slip stitch here and uh, keep going to a new row until you have six rows we start to make a finger part this glove okay I will make the six rows and turn to you I crocheted six rows this puff stitch now I'm at the end of this row yarn over and make one double crochet and slip stitch to the first chain three and slip stitch to the next stitch here and slip stitch to the here okay chain three and again we make uh, four puff group two double crochet and four puff group again and see you again okay yarn over and make these puff groups
I'm on the last puff group yarn over and make the last two three four pull through chain two and again same chain one space three and four now we make the finger space so yarn over and insert my hook here make a double crochet chain three and turn your work and again make puff stitch keep making like that here to double crochet and four group of puff stitch and come here see you again I made last puff and yarn over and insert this chain trees top and make a double crochet now you can try that like here I think it's enough we close this finger space and make this single crochet part like the start point and finish our glove okay so insert the, uh, this double crochet stop and make a slip stitch now you will chain one and insert your hook from the top of this puff make one single crochet make one single crochet in chain one space and make one this top and make one here keep making like that at the end of the row see you again I have 32 single crochet again and slip stitch to the first single crochet chain one and make one more row one row more single crochet again keep making like that see you next row I'm at the end of the row and make a slip stitch chain one and turn your work again and make this row this row repeat we will make back post double uh, back post single crochet insert our hook back to front back to front then back again and make a single crochet back to front then back we make every stitch back post double crochet and see you next row I made all the back posts now now we will slip stitch remember not here because we want the loops uh, looking like that insert that stitch you see here two loops one stitch is here one stitch is here we uh, leave this stitch like that and insert the top stitch and make a slip stitch chain one and make single crochet two rows we will make two rows single crochet in this top stitches like that it's looking here 
and finish our gloves I'm at the end of the row and make a slip stitch chain one and cut my yarn this glow part is finished now we will make the here finger part like that take our yarn and make a slip knot look at here insert the corner of this space take a yarn and chain one and make one more single crochet in the same space now you will make every stitch one single crochet one two three I come to do this corner four insert my hook you see that post here grab the yarn and make a single crochet again chain one and turn make one single crochet in the same stitch make a single crochet in every stitch Here the start point you remember make one single crochet here and make one this post chain one and turn and make one more here and make every one one single crochet we increase from the start and the finish points this is the last stitch and again you see that post one more single crochet here chain one and turn and make again single crochets one two three four five six and the last one is seven and here we make one and one more same post again one single crochet chain one and turn in the bottom of the this chain one starts point one two three four five six seven eight and insert the other post make a single crochet chain one and turn and now not increase that this is the first one and make second third 
fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and the ninth. Insert this up here. Make a single crochet. This is our last row. Chain one. Uh, before the last row. Two. Three. I count this chain one. So three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and the nine, and now this post we will make a slip stitch. Chain one and turn two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and this is nine, and make the last slip stitch and finish this finger part and chain one for lock your stitch. And I will hide these tails. We finish our gloves. Look at them. I like it so much. Uh, this making is so easy, I think, and uh, the good uh, they have one good point too. Uh, you can make two pairs of gloves in one ball of the yarn. Okay. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and sure don't forget subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can reach me on Instagram, Facebook and also Pinterest as the same name Crochet with Gigi. I hope you to see you again new videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.